Everyone, please welcome Chelsea to the show. Chelsea, thanks for joining us. <laughs> when were you diagnosed with diabetes? Um, when I was nine in 1994. And I want to remind everyone that there is a difference between type 1 and type 2 diabetes. Type 1 diabetes, which is what Chelsea has, occurs when your body stops making insulin. Say you're eating an apple. Well, what's an apple? Carbohydrates, sugars. When you eat that apple, your body begins to break down those carbohydrates so that it can absorb that sugar into your bloodstream. Meanwhile, your pancreas secretes insulin. And the insulin will then attach to the sugar in the bloodstream, also known as the glucose, which you're gonna see here. And what that does is the insulin shepherds that glucose into your body cells, into your brain cells, into your muscles, so you can think, so you can run, so your heart can beat. And I want everyone to look at this demo. Pretend this is your blood vessel. And in there, those are blood glucose molecules, okay? In someone with type one diabetes, there is no insulin to go in there and grab that glucose and pull it into your cells. A normal person, the insulin will come in, attach itself, and pull it into your cells, just like that. In someone with type two diabetes, you'll still make insulin, but your body is less responsive to it. So the insulin may be coursing through your blood, but your body's cells, don't, they're not as responsive to it. So even though you have insulin, you still end up with a lot of glucose in your bloodstream. What I need you to recognize, Chelsea, is that diabetes does not have to be a death sentence. It doesn't have to mean that you're going to lose your vision, lose your kidney function. You have to take charge of it. Do you understand that now is the time, not some point down the road? I do now. Um, having my kids has made me wake up a little bit more. So let's talk about this. Okay. You skip breakfast. I do. So by skipping breakfast, that means that you're getting no calories, no food into your system. So you're, by nature, you're already setting yourself up for major swings because then you eat regular pasta. Right. That pasta I saw in the video with the sauce on it, what is that? Sugar. Sugar, carbohydrates. Pure sugar, yeah. that's what it acts like in your body. So if you're going to eat pasta, you need to go with the whole grain version. There are so many little tricks of the trade as you go throughout your day, and, and this is sort of a silly concoction, but this is the <laughs> tea plate where load the half the plate with good veggies, right. which don't seriously impact your blood glucose levels. Right. You know, and then if you wanna have some whole grains over in this quarter okay. with some lean proteins over here, if you're gonna go with steaks, go with the ones with loin in it, sirloin. They tend to be a little bit okay. higher in protein, less fat in those. Okay. How about your sleep? Um, it could be better. If you're not getting good sleep overnight, your blood sugar levels tend to be higher. Right. Well, and that's my other thing is I, when I do exercise, it goes up, my blood sugar. What I think you should do is look for forms of exercise that maybe are a little less intense with massive adrenaline surges. Try something like yoga. Okay. It's still active, you're still getting exercise. The other thing that yoga is going to do for you is it's going to be a time during the day where you can relax. So the, the biggest thing that you have to do is to commit before it's too late. So I want you right here in front of all these people, all the people watching at home, commit to, to focusing on controlling your diabetes. You have my full commitment. <laughs> I'm here, I'm ready, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to keep in touch and see how you're doing, okay? okay. Thank you so much for Thank being you. here today. I appreciate it. Okay. Well, this is also a great story because so many of you out there are dealing with people you know who have diabetes, you may have diabetes yourself, and we're going to have more information on how you can manage diabetes at thedoctorstv.com.